In this lecture snippet, I want to focus in on file carving, kind of describe what it is as well as some of the basics about why we need it and some of the tools that we have to work with here in Linux to do some file carving. So what is file carving? Well, I've given a basic definition here, but it's either searching an image file, which the image file would have been something we would have got from using the dd command or the dc3dd command and actually taking an image of a hard drive or a partition. So it's either searching that searching a partition itself or searching a hard drive for files and when we search for these files we're not going to do the same way that an operating system does we're going to look at these files based off of their headers and their footers or their signatures and look through a hard drive and not rely necessarily on the metadata so what is all this information I have down here well basically this is a linear layout of an NTFS partition. So this is something that you would see from a Windows computer from a hard drive's partition. And we start out typically off with the boot sector, which is going to be the information to get it booted up into the operating system so that it can see it and it can load the whole operating system up based on that. Well after that what we have here is the MFT. So this is the master file table. And the master file table and an NTFS partition is kind of the database that holds everything together. It stores all the information about every every single file and every folder on this entire partition or volume. And so you can see that this can grow, starts typically off at about 12.5%, it can grow up to 50% of the hard drive, but this is the database that stores all of your file information. And you can see that we've got metadata information in here as well. And so, what is metadata? Well, metadata typically contains all the information about a file, such as like the file's name, the last time it was created or accessed, or the last time it was modified, the permissions that you may be on it, as well as a lot of other information, even telling the operating system where to find the file on the hard drive. And so, you can see here that I've got a file broken down, and it's the same file broken into three parts, just to show you kind of an illustration of how a file might be written to the partition itself. Depending on the size of the file, it may be located in the MFT, but if it's a large enough file, we're going to find the file outside of the MFT, so at different locations of a hard drive. And so what would happen if something like the boot sector goes bad? Well, if the boot sector goes bad, we're not going to be able to boot up this hard drive. We're going to have problems with it, or this partition. We're going to have a lot of problems with it. But we can still use a carving tool to go through this hard drive and actually find the beginning, like the header of this particular file, as well as the footer of the file, which would be located over here, and be able to pull this file out regardless of the operating system has been booted up regardless of the boot sector is bad the files are still written the ones and zeros the binary code is still written to this hard drive and we can look for signatures for files and you can see down here well, what if the metadata goes bad of the file and this is why we don't want to rely on metadata something could be corrupted with the metadata or could have been erased if that's the case it's okay we can still pull out the file you can see that we still have the file here and we can search for the file based on its signatures rather than looking at the metadata information. And so we can even do this with files. Parts of files may have been destroyed and using some of the software we can recover parts of the file as well. So that's why file carving is so important. And we've got a, quite a few different tools to work with. The most popular ones that you typically see in the Linux operating system would be the foremost command scalpel, a magic rescue, and we've got some other ones that are based on for photo recovery, photo rec, uh, recovered JPEG, and then we've got a couple here, this is this ext undelete is to, re to find deleted files from a Linux based operating system itself, the ext file system, or we could also look for deleted files from an NTFS file system with the NTFS undelete, and then a new application to me is the scrounge NTFS, but this one also works here for recovery, and so I'm going to be doing some lecture snippets on each one of these tools as we go on and, and possibly a lot more but this is the section on file carving and I want to focus in on basically helping to define what it is and how it works with forensics.